Hi and welcome. My name is Kelechi and I'm going to be your instructor in this short course to solve the Codility Developer Training Lesson 3 on, com on Time Complexity. In this course, you will get a brief overview of my solution in solving the frog jump tax in the lesson 3 using c -sharp programming language. This is the fourth tutorial in our Codility Lesson series. So, if you want to get an overview of what Codility has to offer, please watch our earlier videos. You may not know this, but c -sharp is a powerful and versatile language. So, if you're looking to take a developer test for any remote job, solving the Codility lessons would be a great help. This lecture is not a beginner's course some experience using c -sharp is required however we would soon be releasing our full c -sharp course which will take you from beginner to expert levels so once again my name is kelechi and i'm a software developer with over a decade of experience developing and teaching software development let me know in the comment section below how this course has helped you or if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because it helps us out a lot so without wasting any more of your time let's get right into it so welcome back by the end of this chapter, we would have successfully understood the requirements for the frog jump tax and we had, would have created a solution for the frog jump task. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into understanding the requirements for this task. So let's begin by understanding the requirements for the frog jump task. In this task, we are meant to count the minimal number of jumps from position X to Y. If you haven't logged in already, you can log into the Codility website at the top right corner by clicking or login. Or if you need to sign up, you can sign up as well. Remember to set your programming language to C -sharp. And let's see what this task is all about. And it reads... <coughs> A small frog wants to get to the other side of the road. The frog is currently located at position X and wants to get to a position greater than or equal to Y. The small frog always jumps a fixed distance D. So count the minimal number of jumps that the small frog must perform to reach its target. Write a function which is a class called solution and um, has, a, has a method called solution also, which takes in three arguments, an integer x, an integer y, and an integer d. That given three integers x, y, and d returns the minimal number of jumps from position x to a position greater than or equal to y. For example, given that x is equal to 10, which is the starting position, y is equal to 85 which is the end position and d is 30. the function should return 3 because the frog will be positioned as follows after the first jump at at position 10 plus 3 we get 40. after the second jump at position 10 plus 3 plus 10 plus 30 rather plus 30 we get 70. after the third jump at position 10 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 we get 100 so we are required to write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions that x y and z are integers within the range of 1 to 1 billion and x is less than or equal to y so now that we understand the requirements of this task let's get right into our id and become and begin coding our solution Welcome back. In this section, we're going to create our solution and we're going to be using Visual Studio 2019 for Mac as our IDE. First, we create a new console application and we are going to call it Frog Jump. We hit create. 
the first thing we're going to do is to create our solution class and we will take it from the Codality website so let's make sure that the class is properly refactored and we don't have any errors returning from the solution method in the solution class so in our solution we are looking for the shortest means to get our result what we're going to do is to cast all int arguments to doubles for our purposes we're going to define the minimal number of jumps as a double variable called result and we'll equal it to y minus x divided by d each of these parameters cast to a double Next, we're going to use the ternary operator to determine the number of jumps in a variable count and we return count cast back to an integer. So we now return the int count and we're going to cast it back to an integer. And that's our solution. Now let us modify the main class so that we can run the test conditions. We first define a new instance of the solution class. Then we call the solution method and pass in three integers as, argu as arguments. And they are 10, 85, and 30. Let's run our conditions. All right, and we see that we get three jumps, which is consistent with the Codility website. Now that we are done with this, our initial test. Let us go back to our ID and let us copy our solution. Make sure you choose C -sharp as your language of choice. And let's paste our solution that we copied from our ID. Let's run our code. All right, so we passed our initial conditions. We now would submit the code to be tested against other background test conditions. So yes, there you have it. Our solution runs 100% against every test condition and we obtain the perfect score. So you can go through and check out the analysis and see all the correctness tests and performance tests and see how it's performed but good job you have written a code that works 100 percent efficiently all right so see you in the next section wow you made it to the end thank you so much for watching to this point really hope that this course has helped you the source codes for this tax can be found in the description below and if you're still having any challenge please let us know in the comments below or if you feel you have a solution that's better than ours we are more than welcome and willing to learn from you remember we will soon be releasing our full c -sharp course from beginners to masteries in the coming weeks and we have a ton of great materials and courses lined up to take you to the next level of your programming journey so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel until next time take care